already got started into this project, all I've done so far is I took the seat off. Okay, there's a bolt. Um, there's a bolt that goes in right here. There's another one over there. You take those two off, and it allows you to take the seat off, which is right there. Okay, uh, so once the seat comes off, the next thing I'm getting prepared to do is to disconnect uh, a battery terminal. Okay, you wanna make sure you do that. So once the battery terminal comes off, now it's your tank. Uh, there's a bolt that you must take out from right here. All right guys, so once you have that propped up, now you've got your air box right here. You've got screws that goes um, along the outer side of it. You take those screws out, of course you unplug some various connectors that you will see around it. And this tube right here comes out too. So once you get all that out, this top piece will come off. And you can set that aside. And now it's gonna look like this, okay? Got your air filter. The air filter can come out. Set, oh, that's kind of dirty. I'm gonna need a new one right now. Oh, also I did take off the bracket that holds the rectifier in place here. And it has the horn on it too. The next thing to do is to get the bottom part of this air box out. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and loosen up that bolt right there. It looks like a Phillips head. You're gonna stick a, where's my Phillips head? I'm gonna get a Phillips head screwdriver and put it through here. And I've already unloosened that part. So I'm gonna do it for this side and do the same thing on the other side and we'll be right back. All right guys, so next thing that I'm doing here is now that I've got these clamps unloosed, there's one here and there's another one over there. Uh, you want to look around the entire air box to see what type of connections that you have connected to it. I just pulled up on this thing here and it was so loose that it just came out. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this hose out next. We have the bottom part of the air box taken out. Uh, that is where, let's turn this around here. So this is where I'm gonna place my rectifier. The hole must be drilled in the very center of this corner right there. All right guys, what I'm gonna be doing next is unplugging the wire for the rectifier. Just by pulling and tugging on it, I can tell it's that one right there. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug this cable. All right, there we go. So now that's unplugged, as the second cable is gonna be this one right here. Oh, here we go. All right. We've got our rectifier out. Okay. okay. You wanna take this? Now this seems like an aftermarket um, rectifier. I must mention that it's a little bigger than the original one. So in that case, you might have to lay it flat over here like that. Okay. So it looks like I'm gonna lay it down flat like this, drill that hole up there, run the wires, and we should be on our way. I'll have some room to drill some holes down in here in order to bolt this down too. Guys, we've made really good progress today. I'm gonna take a break to run inside to grab my drill gun in order to use these step drills for the hole. Uh, another thing I need to do is run to AutoZone or Pet Boys or somewhere and grab a battery charger to charge this thing because my battery is dead. And We'll be right back. Guys, I cannot wait to get done with this and take my bike out for a ride. The weather is beautiful today and it's only November 3rd. All right guys, so a quick trip to AutoZone and $45 later, we have a battery charger. Okay guys, so here's the step drill that I'm gonna be using. Um, what I'm gonna do first is just kind of put these two cables together and see how thick it is. 
to kind of get an idea of how big I should drill this hole. Right, so it's going to be about a 3 sixteenths to a 7 eighths wide hole. Okay, so here's our hole. Now, obviously the connectors aren't going to fit. So I'm gonna take these rubber pieces off. All right, in order to take these out, I'm using this knife here, since it's got a really pointed edge. And you're just gonna, this one here, you've gotta like push a pin in and kind of pull down on the wire. Uh, so I believe I've got all three of them now and it just pops right off. See that? Just came right off. So we're gonna do the same thing for this one. Let me see. Whoa. All right. So guys, this one was very easier for me to get off, but this side seems more challenging for me. So what I'm gonna do is. All right, I don't wanna make this hole too big. Got it. So I've got that one through and now gonna go ahead and fit this next one through so guys here's where we're at right now Here's what it's looking like right now. We've got the rectifier in place. We've got the bottom part of the air box in place. I'm gonna go ahead and get this filter and make sure that goes in place too, which it does. Great. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything back together and make sure everything is plugged up and we'll be right back. All right guys, we are completely done here. Let me show you the end result. So this is originally where the rectifier was located. Now it's gone. Yeah! Yeah! So what we do is just let this battery charge. We're gonna go ahead and give it a start to make sure everything is running cool. If I can't wait to get this battery charged, I am probably just gonna jump start it and go for a ride. A few moments later. Hey, what's up guys? The bike is riding great. I just finished the rectifier relocation. I charged up the battery a bit. It wasn't enough to start, so I'm riding with my book bag and it has a whole jumper box in the book bag. So it's super heavy. The bike is still very fun to ride. I haven't had any issues with it. This is the normal spot for the rectifier. That's where it normally will be. It was so close to the radiator and the actual engine itself that it would get so hot, the whole engine would cut off. So that is why I had to do it. Definitely please share your experiences with me. I'd like to know what your Jigsa does to kind of know what to expect with mine and um, also to know what videos to make next time. It's so simple guys. I mean, if you have any questions, definitely feel free to drop it in the comment section below. I am more than happy to help you with that. You know what I mean? Like it was really not that bad, but I'm so glad that I've been able to finish that and hey what's up and welcome to my channel uh, i'm going to be showing you how to Let's just relax a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. I'm relaxed. 